Hey, if you want to use Google Wallet on your Pixel 7 Pro, first of all, you have to log in with your Google account. So when you tap on the right upper corner and tap on this arrow, you will find all uh, accounts that are linked to your phone. And I want to use the Google Wallet on this first account. So I have to select it like this and it will appear uh, the shortcut of my icon in the right upper corner. And right now, if I want to add here any cards, I have to go to the right bottom corner to add to wallet. And here we've got uh, four different options. Payment card, transit pass, loyalty, loyalty and gift card. Uh, first, if you want to add the payment card, you can add the card that is currently linked to your Google account. So when you click right here, uh, you don't have to add your new credit or debit card. By tapping right here, you will get base information of your card. And to complete setup, you have to input the CVC code that is on the back of your payment card. And also when you click right here on the billing address, you will get your phone number. I mean, you have to input your phone number, your home address, the base informations, and then you have to click continue. Of course, I'm not gonna show you my data, but uh, that's basically very simple process to perform. And next, if you want to add the transit pass, uh, you will be able to find it right here. You can search for the city uh, or on transit agency by typing right here. So for example, we can type the New York and that's uh, the, uh, the transit pass from the New York. And when we set it up, um, let me just show you like this, uh, we can pay uh, with this uh, card. Then we below we can find the loyalty, loyalty cards and as you can see here I have um, the cards only from the Poland but if you have your region like you are from, from Spain, from France or from United States you will have here the different cards. That's cards available in my country. And if you want to add the loyalty card just tap on one of it and then basically scan uh, the QR code. So if you have the QR code, you have to put it um, just right here and it will be scanned. Of course, that's not my loyalty card, that's the box of my headphones, but that's basically how we can add the loyalty card. And at the, at the end of the list, you've got the gift cards that you can add. So that it's the same situation like with the loyalty cards, I have only gift cards from my country. And when you click on this right upper corner, you can also find your data in the wallet. So by tapping right here, you can manage your payments data and manage passes data. When you go here to the wallet settings, uh, you can find some base settings like review for the purchase. So each time you make a purchase, you will see the details and it will come as a notification. That's also the base updates about your passes. So we'll get notified about our travel passes, even tickets and other stuff like that. And also we can turn on or off uh, some updates and offers, the exclusive offers, promotions uh, of the wallet. And then we can also go and mm, manage the payments profile because we can set up the different payments profile, our name, address and other account info and preferences. Uh, right here, you've got also option tab to pay setup. So you can just simply move your phone into the, um, into the payments and to just pay with it. And of course, mm, the requirement is right here. So you have to turn on the NFC, the near field communication. Uh, you have to set up the Google Pay as your default payment method and uh, your phone meets security requirements. So we have to set up the screen lock uh, like uh, the swipe pattern, password, fingerprint or the face recognition. And thanks to this, you will be able to make payments. And in the settings, when you go for the apps and go to the default apps, um, there's also the Google Assistant digital. No, never mind. I was about to say that there's the Google Wallet. Oh yeah, there it is. So here we can open the supported links um, in the Google Wallet if you need. So we can enable these notifications. And yeah, that's how we can use the Google Wallet on the Pixel 7 Pro. Bye bye.